Hey guys, it's back from another product review. And today I'm gonna to be reviewing the upper hand holsters outside the waistband concealed carry holster for a P365. Stay tuned for this one. <laughs> Hey guys, we're back. Once again, today we're going to be reviewing the upper hand holsters outside the waistband concealed carry holster for a 6R P365. This gun is loaded, so let's unload it real quick. Everything is good to go. Okay. So, um, I was actually sent this holster to review. Once again, it's the upper hand holsters uh, concealed carry outside the waistband holster. And if you're not really uh, too familiar with a outside the waistband concealed carry holster, how it looks is that once you have your pistol actually inside of it and you uh, put your belt loops and everything through it, you have it on your side, it actually sits so flush to your uh, side that whenever you put your uh, shirt over it, if you wear longer shirts or a jacket or whatever else, it will be concealed pretty much because nobody will be able to see it. And uh, that's the big thing about these holsters is that, you know, uh, a lot of people wear inside the waistband holsters and sometimes it can get uh, to where you don't want to wear one because it's uh, somewhat uncomfortable to some people. But uh, these outside the waistband concealed carry holsters are now becoming the new thing in concealed uh, carability, I guess, or whatever else. But now, with this holster right here, you have really interesting design. A, uh, these are also Kydex holsters, and they fit perfect to the gun. You have a tension screw right here to where if you want to loosen or make the tension a little bit harder on them. Uh, but as you can see, the tension on them is perfect. You can sit here and shake it all day long, be turned upside down, your gun's not going to fall out. But it's just enough tension to where whenever it's very secured in your uh, actual belt that whenever you want to pull it will come out and reholster perfectly uh, this one right here is made just like i said for a p365 without a light or anything on it very small very lightweight i'd say the holster itself barely is anything i mean it feels just like a paper i mean it feels like paper it's so light uh, they have the uh, belt loop attachments on these you can also get the paddle uh, attachment to where it will actually be a paddle to where if you, you can slide inside your belt and I guess the inside of it will go inside your pants but uh, these right here are uh, the paddle or the uh, belt loop attachments they are one and a half inch so if you have a belt that's any bigger than one and a half inch you might want to go for the actual paddle but this is a very well built uh, kydex holster I like it a lot and they have some very interesting designs they actually have one that was kind of like a Hawaii look to it that I thought was really interesting most of these uh, holsters right here will run you about around $60. I think the Hawaii one was about around 74 if I do recall right. But uh, for the money and everything, these holsters fit really good and secure to your body. And I really, I really do like them. Like I said, they make them for multiple different pistols, just from what I've seen about pretty much any Glock on the market. All the really uh, popular concealed carry pistols like the P365, I think they also have a Hellcat one. But uh, for Kydex holsters, this is one of the better ones I've seen has a really uh, big ridge up here for if you're wanting to uh, have a gun that has a little bit higher sights on it, maybe suppressor sights, so they will not be hitting that whenever you put them in, as you can see right here. Maybe get a good look at that. Very high rise here on the front, but uh, just a very nice holster, good lock-in, as you can hear right here. So, gun will not come out as much as you want to shake or anything else, and like I said earlier, you have tension screws here if you want to uh, make the tension a little bit harder or a little bit less on your gun. Uh, very interesting design when it comes to how uh, rounds out right here. Like I said, it sticks right to your waist and uh, doesn't stick out a bit. It feels like it's really part of you. And that's what uh, the biggest thing about some Kydex holsters are, that if uh, you don't build the actual uh, hinges on them right here where your belt loops are, uh, it can stick out a little bit more and make the gun look a little bit bigger on your side or imprint more But now this one right here where it blends in perfectly with your side with your shirt over it You really will not see it uh, guys. I appreciate y'all viewing today If you have any questions about the upper hand holsters This is once again the outside the waistband concealed holsters They actually make a lot of other different holsters too, uh, light burn ones and a few other ones I've seen that look very interesting. Like I said, multiple different colors on the outside. So pretty much a different color or whatever else you would like to fit you perfectly. But now this uh, OD green uh, looks very, or OD uh, brown looks really good. I guess it'd be more of an FDE, but it looks very good and I like it a lot. Uh, but guys, I appreciate y'all viewing. If you have any questions, comments, leave in space. We'll only get back to you as soon as possible. Thank you for viewing and I'll see y'all in the next video.
Hey guys, thank you for sticking around to the end of the video. I'd like to make a quick shout out to Hero Soap Company for sponsoring my channel. Uh, Hero Soap Company does a one-one ratio with their soap lines, with their subscriptions to where if you subscribe to their soap every single month, uh, you will get a, a delivery of soap in the mail once a month. And not only that, but they will also send a one-one ratio of the soap you purchase overseas to a soldier in need. Not only that, but some of their profits that they make from their subscription lines will go to soldiers and first responders such as law enforcement, EMS, and fire in need, and will go to multiple other different uh, actual charities involving first responders and veterans. So guys, it's very good quality, very good company, and if you'd like to check them out, go to the description below and uh, find my link, and you can use that and go into their website and make sure that you type in Golden Web at the end, and it will give you 10% off. But just want to make a quick shout out to Hero Soap Company and giving them a special thank you. So guys, appreciate y'all viewing, and I will see you all in the next video.